What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the weekly recap number 87. I am Jake Dunlap, CEO of Scaled. And this week was supposed to be vacation week, but like a lot of you, our lives, our family lives have been affected by everything that's happening. And so this week, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's happening in remote sales. What are we seeing companies do? What have companies that we've worked with over the last seven years, what have they done to be successful? And talk about how you need to start thinking about building and managing your own career and working within a sales organization in 2020 through these types of times. Stick around, my friends. We've got a lot to cover. All right, my friends, in this week's Jake's Take, we're talking about working remote, right? Almost all of you are out there working remote. And for a lot of you who have been doing it for a long time, it may not seem like a big deal, but I know for a lot of you, it is a big deal, right? I remember my first experience with trying to work from home, trying to manage my own, you know, kind of day to day when I was, what, 25, 26, and it was difficult. It was difficult to be able to stay focused. So I'm gonna give you a couple of my kind of quick ideas on how to stay focused. One, if you're a leader, if your team usually meets once a week, bump that up to two or three smaller meetings. A lot of people aren't used to just having to go out and manage their own time. So the more that you can kind of create those many like areas of potential collaboration, the better. Number two is make sure that you have very specific ways you're gonna communicate between Slack, email, Asana, Microsoft Teams, whatever that might be. So making sure, hey guys, we're gonna communicate this way in this channel, this way in that channel, that helps. So we've got meet more regularly, we've got clear communication among channels, right? And then the last and not least is make sure you try to check in with as many people as possible on your team every day. So you've got these consistent team meetings, you've got these um, different channels you're using, and then make sure that, you know, look, every little teammate gets a little touch every single day, and that will help everyone to stay connected and help us get through this time for all my friends where this is their very first time working remote. All right, my friends, and this weekend, awesome. I uh, was supposed to be on a vacay with this little guy and the rest of the fam. Were you supposed to be on vacation? Yeah. Where were we gonna go? Tahoe. Tahoe, but that's all right. Instead, what are we doing here? We hanging out, playing sports? Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. That's my week in Austin. The team's been doing an amazing job. Obviously, took over LinkedIn Live, talked about why now is, is I, I just cannot stress how much now, you know, being able to communicate digitally is such a key uh, element for success. And so the team, I think, did a really amazing job with that. Um, so again, it's okay. Look, if you gotta take some time for yourself, I know, look, working remote doesn't mean now that just because you're home, you're working 24 seven. So for me, this week in Awesome was my chance to kind of work remote, do a little staycation, spend time with the fam, but also, you know, make sure that my team is still set up for success and, and make sure that they're still crushing it despite everything that's going on. All right, my friends, and this week's in the news, I actually wanna call out, I've seen a lot of shares from our friends at GitHub. GitHub is one of the, you know, most remarkable companies over the last year or so that has been 100% remote work focused. Envision, there's a whole bunch of others, but GitHub has put out a massive guide to work remote. And I think, look, a lot of you are like, yeah, yeah, Jake, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, yeah, Jake, it's not that gonna be that difficult. But I'm telling you, there are different routines and different things that you need to do. So pay attention to this. I'm gonna drop all their amazing goodness in the comments. So make sure to check that out if you're starting to think, man, how do I really build a world-class, you know, we'll call it like habit of working at home. In this week's hashtag ask Jake anything. I've got an amazing question for my friend Nick over at Olive. What's up, Nick? Nick sent me an awesome video question the other day. And what he said is this: He said, when you have a sales team and you have a marketing team, and they've got you know tens, hundreds of people, thousands of people, and they can amplify a message, how important is it to actually have a company LinkedIn page? I was like, you know what? Like, that's kind of an interesting question. So Nick, here's my hot take on it. A company page is passive. It's a place where people can go and if they want to basically find information out, educate themselves, they're an executive. Now, a company should be active now that they can add 25 people to their follower count every day. Companies should be active in adding people. But just think, your company page is where like, hey, I heard about this company, I wanna check something out. They might not know an individual sales rep. Where your sales team is the people who can be out there being proactive. So yes, I definitely think you still need a company LinkedIn page. But I also think that it is such an awesome opportunity, Nick, and I know this is why you're calling it out, for people and marketing departments to better empower their sales and marketing team to be able to share. So that's this week's Ask Jake Anything. If you have a question, send me a video DM, send me a voicemail, 
put it on LinkedIn, my team will find it. Hashtag ask Jake anything, and I'll do my best to answer your question next week. All right, my friends, just like every week, this week, even though I'm on staycation, it's not really, it's like staycation, quarantine, work from home, all kind of mixed into one. This week's Get It Done Weekly Challenge is, like I said earlier, working from home is a very, very difficult thing to get in the habit of. Again, when I was 25, 26, I couldn't do it, right? I went from having a desk job, got an amazing opportunity to work remote. I stayed up playing Xbox all the time, right? And so what I wanna do in this week's Weekly Challenge, in the comments below, what I want from you is what is your number one, not your top three, right? What is your number one advice from anyone working from home for the first time, right? What are your best tips? How do you stay motivated? How do you stay engaged? Any of those things will work. So my challenge is actually to give back to the community right here. I want your number one tip for what makes you successful in working from home. So I'm gonna head on back to my vacation. It's been a fun week. That, my friends, is weekly recap number 87. I'm out. When you're thinking about things this week, you're thinking about what's best, that's how I would think about uh, moving forward. What are you guys doing? You know, let the team kind of do more than they normally would, and they've done an amazing job uh, handing over the reins. And so... <laughs> but I'm gonna just basically post all their tips and links for doing amazing in 2020. <laughs> Sorry, my son. What do you think about your daddy working from home? Approve or no? No comment? What do you think about the coronavirus? <laughs>